In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how you can reattach a space bar to a keyboard with scissor switches. Now, this is an Editor's Keys backlit keyboard, but the rules apply to any keyboard with scissor switches, including Apple keyboards. Now, the great thing with a scissor switch keyboard is that the keys are designed to come off for cleaning purposes. So maybe you've taken a key off, maybe you've got a bit of dirt or dust under there, or maybe you've moved your keyboard around and a key has popped off. Now, a lot of the keys are very easy to go back on. They simply just pop back into place. But keys like the space bar or the command or control keys are just a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that correctly in this video. So let's jump into it. So I've just taken the space bar out of the Apple keyboard. Uh, and as you can see, it has all of the parts intact. And these are all of the parts that you should have, or it should look very similar to this. Um, if they are in your keyboard, what I would recommend doing is taking out the switches and just popping them back into this part of the spacebar. So reattaching the spacebar is a little bit different to the rest of the keys. Now, if the spacebar has come off, you can see it's got these little metal bars um, on the back of the key itself. Now, you do actually wanna remove these first because it's very difficult and almost impossible in some cases to pop the key back into a position whilst these bars are on the inside of the key. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove these. I'm just gonna pull these off like so. And I'm gonna do that with the bottom one too. There we go. So we've removed those and we're gonna need those in a second. And uh, all I've done is make sure we've got these scissor switches in the key. So if you have a scissor switch here, just grab a little knife and just pick them out and then just place them back into these positions on the back of the key. They can also work fine uh, on your keyboard too. So if they are already inside the keyboard, you can leave them there. You don't necessarily need to take them out. Okay, so what we wanna do is get this metal bar and we wanna rest it inside these little sections on each side of the keyboard. And at the top here, you'll see these little uh, runner guides here. So you wanna make sure that the bar is resting inside the runner bar and it's equal across the whole keyboard over to the other side. We're gonna do that on the bottom one as well. So I'm gonna put that in the bottom here like so. That looks to be in place as well. So once your metal bars are in, it should look like this. Okay, now we've got the bars on. What we need to do is just line this up nicely. It may take two or three tries to get this right, but just simply line up the key best you can and then click the key back into place. Now, as you can see here, this one has got stuck on this side. So you can see it's gone down nicely there, but it's gone flat here. So all I'd recommend doing is just taking the key back out and then placing it down again. And you said, actually, you may find there in this case that just moving the keyboard uh, key around has actually sorted out that issue. So we'd actually have to take the key entirely off. Just make sure it's all clicked down into place like so. Just run your thumb across the space bar like so. In some cases, you may need to take that entire key off, but in this case, just us moving that has actually got it perfectly in position. And you can now see the space bar is perfectly back in position, and we've got a fully working space bar. So I hope that's helped, and if it has, let me know in the comments section below. And remember, if you're new to editing, check out our other videos up here, all about video editing and audio editing. We've got a ton of videos on this channel. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.